Belize's latest murder was discovered this morning on the Boom Hattieville Road, about a mile away from the Hattieville prison. The discovery was made shortly after 11, and preliminary observations revealed that the victim was hacked twice to the back of the head and once on the arm. He is yet to be identified, and the police are looking to you to put name to face. A truck driver that was passing through the area, um, he saw the unusual presence of um, what we refer to as buzzards. He, made, he stopped and made checks and found the body of a dark complexion male in an advanced state of decomposition. After we have um, checked the body, we realized that this person had two, what appeared to be two chop wounds to the back of the head. And um, we suspect uh, we suspect foul play in this. So we are asking that if you have a relative that has been reported missing or gone missing, to please come out and try to help us come to the station and try to help us to identify this person. Are there any distinguishing marks? Well, from what we have observed is that this person had a, what appeared to be a sore on one of his feet. I think it's a right foot. And... Um, any tattoos? No, no tattoos at this time. There is very little to go on, and while forensic pathologist Dr. Mario Estradabran has yet to determine the approximate time of death and other particulars surrounding this latest homicide, the police shared the little details of the victim with us while they review their missing persons list. We have contacted all our formations to have them go through their list to see if they have someone that fits this description. This person was wearing a blue jeans pants, a green polo shirt. We also found a purple t-shirt at the scene. And we found some linen that we believe was used to drag, drag his body to where it was um, left now. So you believe, based on the observations, that he was murdered elsewhere and just dumped here? We believe so. On hand to aid in an impromptu burial of the man, believed to be in his 40s, were inmates of the Hatterville prison. If you think you may know the victim, you may contact the nearest police station. Marion Ali for Love News.